true. Things have changed nowadays. It doesn't rain as much as it used to. The rain patterns are so unpredictable these days. Mm. The gods are angry with us. They're very angry with us. I just wonder what we did so wrong. My name is Akawa Mnenga, a fourth year student at the University of Zambia, studying public administration and sociology. In the theater for policy advocacy production, I was playing Mama Sakala, the Gogo, who represents the old vulnerable farmers. What will I do with vouchers for fertilizers and seeds when I don't even have a proper piece of land? This only benefits Mr. Mpando over here and yourself. These food vouchers, can they help cure my sick child? Can they? While I appreciate these food parcels, I see a lot of poor in this village becoming dependent on this food aid. They no longer want to work, but just work like small little beds waiting to be fed by their mothers. <laughs> these NGOs think we all face similar challenges. They come to us with a blanket approach. So because it's qualifying, it's a research that was done in Zambia, but it is explaining what Coco starts by saying, no blanket approach. Let us help farmers to build resilience so that they bounce back and be better than what they were before. But if you keep on giving them small, small things, they become dependent. But by becoming dependent, they are poorer and poorer because they are not improving. Yeah? From the role, I think I got that um, some people that practice the not so climate friendly kinds of agriculture they're not well informed most of the time so when it gets back to uh, when it gets back to them and bites them it just leaves them vulnerable and poor i learned that information is key in if we are to properly and effectively deal with this issue of climate change and climate smart agriculture Mr. Mpande, that was a fantastic conference. It was. Uh, you know, these platforms need to keep coming to us poor rural people. True. We need them more. You see, I learned a lot. Uh -huh. I learned about um, adaptation. Uh huh. And resilience. Uh huh. Mitigation. Yes. Uh, climate smart agriculture. Yeah. 